what I'd like to do is show you how to solve a proportion. Uh, <clears throat> so what this is a proportion, this means when a ratio equals another ratio. And what we have here is we have two variables. Well, we have the same variable, but we have it on the left side and we have it on the right side. So um, there's a couple techniques that we can use to get rid of this. Um, one thing is I see that I'm dividing by eight. So I can undo division by multiplying an eight on both sides, and I can undo division of a negative two by multiplying a negative two on both sides. And what you'd get is, um, essentially, your eights would cancel out here, your negative twos would cancel here, and you'd be left with something that we've kind of broken down into a shortcut, what we call cross multiplication. So kind of an easier way to describe that mumble jumble that probably you guys sounded, that it sounded like to you, is you can just use a cross multiplication process. Where I'm gonna take cross products, so it's gonna be x minus three times two is equal to eight times x. Now, be very careful how you write this. This tells you me x minus three, I'm gonna multiply by negative two. That's, to, they're together. Right now, this just shows negative three times two. I don't want to just multiply the negative three times two. I want to multiply both of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in parentheses. And what that will help you understand is when doing that, now you can use your distributive property to multiply your two times both those values. So two times x gives you two x. Two times negative three gives you negative six equals eight x. Now, the fun part about this problem, if you want to call it fun, is now we have a variable on both sides. So to get rid of our variable on one of the sides, we have to get rid of one, right? We can either get rid of the 8x or get rid of the 2x. It doesn't matter which one you want to get rid of. Um, typically, you usually um, it's helpful to get rid of the one that's smaller because that will prevent you from having a, uh, usually getting a negative number. Uh, however, Sometimes it's easier to just get rid of the one that's not all by itself. Like here, you wouldn't want to get rid of the 8x because then you'd have 0, and you'd have an x and a number on the same side. So it's not really helpful. Um, but this one, if I get rid of the 2x, this will work out pretty good. Because remember, when you're solving for x, you want to get x by itself. So 2x minus 2x is 0, so I get negative 6 equals 6x. Now I can divide by 6, x equals a negative 1. So that's how you solve a proportion when you have an x on both sides.